I try to find certain times where I can sit down and come back to myself. I don't do it often enough. I get lost into the busyness of feeling like I need to work or like I, I need to make money or I need to, to hustle this or hustle that or basically just completely distracted by the mundane world and oftentimes I put my spiritual self on the back burner. The equinoxes and the solstices, they, they're a time of ritual, a time of prayer, a time of coming together to remember. It's a perfect time to set intentions. Um, and this is something that I learned from my wife about writing out your intentions, you know, on special occasions, be it like right now in the equinox or be it New Year's Eve or be it on your birthday or whatever rites of passage you're going through. It's such a good practice to write out your intentions and you can let go of the old and embrace the new. So this is the space where the ritual begins here. It's also the act of building the altar. The act of building this space already puts us into the ritual. It already puts us into the mind frame of reverence and the meditation of what we're doing. This seed of a new beginning moving forward from here. I'm now embracing something new. So what we're gonna do here with this fire I'm going to write out what I want to let go of and then I'm going to write my intentions as I step new into this new cycle and I'm going to also offer that into the fire and that smoke and that intention will, what it represents symbolically to me is it will go out into the universe as a prayer, as, as a hope, as a dream, as an intention to manifest into my life that is awakening now. This is why I'm here digging in the dirt, building this circle outside of the hustling, mundane busyness of work in the world and come to the cathedral of nature and God.